on the behalf of Islamic Cultural Center Norway and my brother Najmu Sakib sitting over there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, I am pleased to be here with you in this gathering. Who knows, maybe Allah will grant me the Jannah because I am among the people who are more muttaqi and mu'min than me. Some years ago, five minutes would have gone just to introduce the little country Norway. But today, I think you know more about Norway. Norway is a small country with a population of 5.3 million. Nevertheless, there are several Norwegians who excel to such an extent that people around the world are inspired to follow their example. We have a former prime minister as a general secretary of NATO, soccer crazy children in other countries dream of becoming like Erling Holland, music loving young people idolize Arura or Kaigo and hopeful chess talents admire Magnus Carlsen. But we cannot be proud of all Norwegian role models. In recent times, Norway has also fostered men who inspire mass murders and terrorists. We lost saw an example of this in connection with the killing in New York. In a document, the killer lists his role models in the fight for the white race, two of the so-called freedom fighters he mentioned are Norwegians. Having said that, I believe that Norway is still the best country in the world to live in, even for Muslims. We have had interfaith religious dialogue for over 30 years, especially how we dealt with the cartoon issue in 2005 gave us more credibility. There are about 200,000 Muslims mainly living in the capital, Oslo. Islamic Cultural Center Norway was established in 1974 and has more than 5,000 members and about 250 members of General Assembly. ICC is one of the key players in the dialogue work and Alhamdulillah, we have a good approach and cooperation with the government. Through our umbrella organization, Muslim Dialogue Network, we managed to work for an action plan against increasing Islamophobia which was launched by the government for two years ago, and it was a huge success. But we don't have, but what we don't have are religious role models. The, the era of Hutbas in Urdu, Arabic, or Somali is now gone. So we need to approach the young Muslims in a way they understand. We need religious motivational speakers who can address the young Muslims like you have it here, right here in this convention. But it is ex extremely important to fight against the Islamophobia or increasing Islamophobia from the inside by building our Muslim identity stronger. So I think ICNA can make, make it happen in Norway too. Even if we are a small country, but as Muslim, we have huge impact. Even though today we had a coordinated open mosque day against some guys who are burning Quran in Norway and it is allowed in Norway within the act of the freedom of speech. So we have to be creative when dealing issues like that. So our youth don't go over there and have confrontations with the police. We need to set our agenda by ourselves and it is possible in Norway and we can do more of it. At the risk of appearing not so humble, I would argue that Norway is a good country to be inspired by especially when it comes to social justice. Wama alayna illa al and thank you, Ikna, once again, and Brother Mohsin, for this opportunity. Thank you.